G'day folks, Uncle Nack is here from DIY for Knuckleheads. Remember last week, I made this pretty nifty little pellet wood serving tray, complete with bottle and glass holder. It didn't turn out too bad. If you haven't seen it, I'll link to it below. But what I think the serving tray really needs to finish it right off would be a cheese board or a chopping board. Wait for them to go. Now where was I? That's right, a chopping board or a cheese board. And I want to make something that's really simple to build. Now we're talking my language and maybe even something a bit antique or vintage. I like the idea. Let's do it. Just trying to find a piece of wood for this cheese board. I'm in this old junkyard. I love these places. That's interesting, but a bit thick and heavy. I keep looking, you never know what you'll find. Nah, nothing down there. Mountain bike, anyone? No. Search continues. Anyone looking for a kayak? Going cheap. 40 bucks. Bargain. And this is what I came home with. An old lump of hardwood. She wanted $10 for it. And I said, you're dreaming. Walked out of the shop. She chased me down and said, how about $3? And I said, you've got yourself a deal. Three bucks. I'm happy at that. Bargain. Now this old lump of hardwood in its current state is a bit too thick and heavy for a chopping board or a cheese board. So what I decided to do was with the aid of my table saw and a hand saw was to cut the board into two pieces. That way the board's thinner, lighter, and you also get two boards for the price of one. I like it. With the chopping board now cut into two pieces, we're ready to work out what size and what shape is going to suit this serving tray. Hmm. The size of an A4 sheet of paper seems about right. Now as far as the design goes, look, we're not flying to the moon. We're making a vintage style chopping board. Lines aren't straight and nothing is quite symmetrical, which gives the charm of a vintage piece. I'm going to make mine really simple, but the aim is to make it look as though it's been around for the past 100 years. Should be good, fingers crossed. To get the shape of the cutting board underway, just place that sheet of A4 paper onto the cutting board and mark it out. Once that's done, then grab an old funnel to make the curve. I wasn't that happy with the positioning, so I put the curve down the other end. Then just grab your circular saw, oh, love that cut, and cut the chopping board to size. The jigsaw is very handy for cutting around those curves. Oh, beautiful job, lovely. Time now to drill a hole for the handle. <gasps> I'm gonna start a fire. <laughs> Whew. Now that was hardwood. And basically, that's all there is to it. We have a hole here for a handle and a curve at the top as a bit of a design feature, but the rest is still fairly plain. And the reason for that is that I think that's how an old vintage chopping board would have looked like. And to authenticate that look even further, just grab a Stanley knife and score some marks in the top there, and that'll make it look as though this board has been in use for years and years. And to finish it off, 
just grab a sander and we'll sand down those edges roughly sand it back and I don't want to use a router around the edges because I think that would make it look a bit too neat alrighty let's do it And this is how it turned out after that quick sand. I tell you what, it looks awesome. You could almost say that this is now done and dusted. But I can't help myself. I think I can do one more thing to this, which will really top it off. Let's do it. Uncle Knacker's got fire. Fire good. And now I just want to lightly hand sand this and take the black off where I don't think it's needed. Starting to look pretty good. Okay, that's all done. Now all we need to do is to apply the finish. Now, just before I apply that finish, I want to announce my latest competition where you can go in the drawer to win one of these genuine DIY for knuckleheads, Uncle Macca's approved vintage chopping boards. Yep, that's right, could all be yours. How cool is that? And just as a quick side note, from that one piece of old hardwood at the start of the video, we managed to make not one, not two, but three vintage chopping boards. Not too bad. Now to qualify for the competition, you have to be a subscriber to my channel and have that notification bell clicked. So if you haven't done that, do it now. And what I'll do is I'll select the first 20 correct answers and they'll go in the drawer to win that signed vintage chopping board. All right, the questions. How much was the kayak in the junkyard and what type of oil did I use to finish those boards off? Alrighty, good luck with that. And now let's go and apply that finish. Now the finish that I'm applying to my chopping board is a food safe mineral oil. It's really important to remember that whenever you apply a finish to a chopping board that it has to be food safe because it's going to be food in contact with that board. Simply apply the oil and then rub it in with either a paper towel or a soft cloth. It's pretty easy. Okay, here comes the fun bit. Just apply this oil. You see there how those colours are starting to pop. It's looking good. Give it a good coat, don't be shy. That's it, get it right in there. Okay, so I can rub that in. That's looking fantastic. And we'll now just hang these chopping boards out and leave them to dry for the next 24 hours. Beautiful. The cutting board slash cheese board is now dry. And as you can see, it fits beautifully inside this serving tray. Oh, I love it. Anyone for cheese? So that's it folks. The cheese board slash cutting board slash chopping board is now all done and dusted. Great tip, knackers! Okay, don't forget to head over to my blog at diyforknuckleheads.com where I'll have a post, everything cheese board slash chopping board related. Photos, dimensions, I might even throw in a template, tools I use, 
etc etc so make sure you check that one out and as per usual big thumbs up for the video is greatly appreciated and if this is your first time to my channel please hit that subscribe button for more handy tips you know what that cheese looks too good to waste so till next time be safe and i'm out of here cheers Thank you.